morning, my first grade friends. Today we're going to be working on our W questions. Remember, asking questions about what you're reading is so, so important to help you deepen your thinking and really know what the author is trying to teach us when we read, read our stories. Remember, stories can be two things. They can be fiction or they can be nonfiction. So let's think for a second. Think in your brain. What does nonfiction mean? Quickly, go find someone and tell them in your house what a nonfiction book is. Ready? I'm going to count to ten. When I get to ten, come back and join me. Go find someone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. I hope you told somebody. Remember, a nonfiction book is real. So that would be a book about maybe the stars or maybe a book about our school, or maybe a book about George Washington. Nonfiction books have real pictures. All right, our other kind of book that we love to read is our fiction stories, which we'll be reading today. And fiction is fake. So go find someone in your house and tell them what a fiction book is. Ready? Go find someone and tell them. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. I hope you went and found someone and told them what a fiction story is. Remember, fiction is fake. So today we're going to work on our W questions. And our W questions are important questions that we're going to ask ourselves and maybe those around us to help us think about what we're reading and to think about what the author wants us to know. So our W questions are questions like who, what, where, why, and how. In every story, fiction and nonfiction, we could ask these questions to help us think about what we're reading. We're going to stop and think about these W questions. Who, what, where, why, how, and when. I don't think I put when on there, but when to when we're reading our story together today. And then when you're reading your 20 minutes at home, I want you to also be thinking about your W questions. So today we're going to be reading Madeline. And looking at the cover, I see some girls walking in some lines. And it looks like it was drawn. So that looks fake. So I'm going to say I think this is a fake story or a fiction story. Madeline by Ludwig Beemermans. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. All right, let's stop. Let's think back to our W questions. Think in your brain, what is a W question that we can answer right now? I can think of maybe one. What do you think? I think so too. I think the where. Remember, good readers always are asking themselves questions. They're always looking back in their book. So let's look back in our book and look for the setting, where the story takes place. Where? In an old house in Paris. Paris is in a different country. It's a city. But that is where our story takes place. So there's one W question that we're thinking about when we're reading to deeper what we're thinking and answer more questions. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain or shine, the smaller one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter snow and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo hoo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. 
So let's stop again and think about our W questions. Now I think we can answer our question, who? Who is in the story? Who are the characters? Who are the people that are in the story that are helping us listen to the story? What do you think? Tell someone at your home who you think is in the story. It could be our main character, maybe. If you said Madeline, I think you're correct. Our who is Madeline and her friends. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. In a car with red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, on the bed, there was a crank, and a crank on the ceiling had the habit of something looking like a rabbit. So let's take a look at that picture again. Look at, look at this picture. I think there might be a problem. What do you think the problem is here? And why do you think that problem is happening? Go ahead, tell someone at your home. Why do you think that problem is happening? What do you think the problem is? I think the problem, or why is this problem happening, is that Madeline might be sick. Oh, sorry. What is the issue? Madeline is sick, so she's in the hospital. And that's what we're learning in our story. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Tiptoeing solemn with solemn faces, with some flowers and a vase. And they walked and they said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy in the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said. We'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right. And afraid of disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster, and she said, Please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cry have our appendix out too. So let's stop here. I think we figured out our what. What was the issue? And if you don't know, an appendix is something in your body. And it, just like we all get a little sick sometimes, if something's not right, you go to the doctor and they'll help you fix it. So with Madeline, her what, her problem, her issue, was that her appendix was out. And where she was going in Paris, she went to the hospital to get her problem removed, the issue. And how do we know that happened? Go ahead and turn to somebody around you to find your brothers and sisters and tell them why. How do you know that Madeline got her appendix out? Let's look at this page again. We can always go back in our story to look for our answers. We know that she got her appendix out because this picture shows us that she was in the hospital. So here's our last page. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There is no more. All right, so that was the end of our book. Now let's look back at our W questions that, are, that help our brains think more about what we're reading so we don't forget and we learn what the author is trying to teach us. So, who? Tell someone around you, who was the story about? It was about Madeline. What was the issue? Tell someone around you. The issue was her appendix needed to come out. She had to go to the hospital. Where did the story take place? Remember, on one of the first pages, you always can look back in your story 
one of the first pages told us that the story took place in Paris. Why did the problem happen? We're not sure how Madeline got sick, but we know that she needed to go to the hospital and get her appendix out. And how was the problem solved? The problem was that she wasn't feeling well and Miss Covell had to take her to the hospital. And the problem was solved because she got her appendix from Good job, guys. So I want you to always be thinking about your W questions when you're reading your stories. So not only that you remember your stories, but you can ask those good questions that all great readers do. All right. Bye, guys.